Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can bring a Visio diagram into a Word document. And I'm going to do that through the Insert tab and then Object. Now for you to bring a Visio drawing into Word, you do need to have Visio on your machine. So I do, so I'm going to find it coming down this list. Microsoft Visio Drawing and then I'm clicking OK. What that will do is, is load Visio into your Word document and then you can choose what type of drawing you want. So I want a flowchart, a basic flowchart. Clicking on that one, OK. And then that will embed the Visio drawing into your Word document. There is Visio and there is the stencils in Visio, which you then can start populating your flowchart with. So if I bring a shape on there, you've got the start shape. Now, coming out of the bottom there, you've got common shapes, so that's a process. And, and then another one if I go for a, a decision. Now you can see that I'm actually going off this page. So what I'm going to do is just do control A, which will allow me to shrink this down a little bit. So now when I when I click if I click away from that, I've got these big arrows. So there's a, a decision, and then that's gone big on me as well. So you can just reduce the sizes of these for it so it fits into your Word document. And then that lines up. If I just push that up a little bit, the whole shape. And then coming out of a decision, I might go for a process, bring that back in, or wait until the end and then reshape this, and then come back. Um, I'll do a line to there, actually. So you've got on the top of the screen your Visio toolbar, or your ribbon, should I say. So I've got a connector tool there that I can just do a connector back to that process. And then I'm carrying on down here with another process. Now I need to take this connector tool off, otherwise I'll be doing lines all over the place. Move this box up a little bit and then resize it. Like so. I can push that up. You get these little lines telling you when you've got your box horizontal. So it's quite helpful like that. Um, having said that, no, I can't do it. So let's bring in my arrow key down. Uh, I'm not going to mess about too much with that. You can type in any of these boxes. So it's a flow chart, so you can put text in there. So I'll just put the word test and you can see how that works. And then you've got um, shapes that come out the bottom. I'll just do an end shape so the whole thing finishes and then bring that in, make that a lot smaller. Now that's gone off the page in Visio, so I need to push that back up and then just tidy this up a little bit. Okay, I've just tidied it up a little bit so you can see you can align it like so and you can put your text in and if you select everything with Control A, you can then adjust the whole the size of the diagram. It'll go down as a group. Should probably have done that last. Once you've done that and you've got your flowchart how you want it to look, you just click out of Visio and then you can see it sitting in Word there. So I could probably got away with that being a bit bigger than that. And if you need to edit it again, you just double click on it. You're back into Visio. And then you can do the reverse, make it a little bit bigger. So it stands out a bit more in Word. But obviously you're restricted to this page. Come away from that. And then there it is in Word. Now you are using a bit more memory than normal because you've got one program running inside another program. So as, as long as your computer's got enough memory to handle that, that shouldn't be a problem. If it does crash, that's what it'll be, memory issues. Anyhow, that's all I wanted to show you, how you can embed a Visio drawing into a Word document. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.